Hi, welcome back to season three of Raider Record Room. I'm your host, Chloe, and today I'm joined with Drake and Lucy Jane of Drakeford. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Doing great. Yeah. Awesome. You guys sounded great back there. Thank Aww. you so much for coming by. Thanks Appreciate for having that. us. So you guys are based in Nashville, but you actually met in Kyrgyzstan. Is that right? You want to yeah. tell me a little bit about that? true. <laughs> we did meet in Kyrgyzstan. It's so random because Kyrgyzstan is like this tiny little country in the middle of like Central Asia. But uh, yeah, so we were on a team that traveled around kind of that area doing street performing. And so I had a rock band. I was actually playing drums on the tour we met. It's true. And Lucy Jane is a hip hop dancer by trade. So she had a yeah. dance troupe. Yep. And uh, we were just street performing. Yeah. So I was actually, you know, I'm from England. And mm -hmm. so I kind of flew out over to Kyrgyzstan to join this team. They were doing the street performing tour. Um, and Drake was already living overseas in Turkey. Um, and so, yeah, but we met in Kyrgyzstan. It's just a weird, a weird it's thing, but so, so cool. Strange. Yeah. That's amazing. And you guys like lived in Turkey together for a while. Yeah. We did, yeah. So uh, a three. year after we met, I then moved to Turkey and we were there for about three years. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah. Like just long enough to like learn how to order sandwiches. And <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Talk to people. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> So you guys were originally supposed to come to Mount um, on March 21st after yes. a really long string of tours, but of course that got cut mm -hmm. short because of COVID. Yeah. Um, so how has been like just being a musician during COVID been? Whew. Oh man. It's been tough. It has been tough. I mean, I think life has been tough for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, so we did have a lot of, sh of shows at the beginning of the year and thankfully we got a lot of those done mm -hmm. um, and it was, Actually, while we were in Arkansas, going to another college and everything shut down. And so we uh, didn't do the show in Arkansas and we just kind of drove back. Um, and then obviously everything else after that was canceled. Yeah. And we were so sad because we were so excited to come here to you guys and mm -hmm. we're really disappointed, but thrilled to be able to come back now. Yeah, um, but so yeah, honored. it's been it's been a strange year for musicians, that's for sure. Yeah. So instead of uh, touring, I saw you guys actually have been doing uh, Corn Tuesdays. You want to tell me a little bit about that? We yeah. have, yeah. So when the world shut down and everything was just online, uh, people were being so creative about like, oh, we're going to do songs and cocktails or we're going to do this in our kitchen every day. And mm -hmm. uh, we just we wanted to do something that was a little bit different. Yeah. Um, we still but... have a chance to connect with people weekly and, and, and also challenge ourselves to learn new songs and cover songs and things like that and so we kind of set that challenge for ourselves to to be learning new things and and releasing it every week um, yeah. it kind of gave us something to work towards because i think otherwise we just wouldn't have had anything to do and probably very depressed yeah <laughs> i think True. it kind of was a bit of a motivator for us so so you guys actually finally got to perform in person uh with sounds of summer in athens like how did that feel to finally look in front of people again oh Oof. my gosh it was great yeah. i mean so we started doing online shows to replace some of our in-person shows that got canceled. And it, while we're really grateful for that opportunity, I miss the personal connection, you know, like talking yeah. with people in shows and right. hanging out afterwards, going to Taco Bell at like 2 a.m. <laughs> so to be in front of people, on one hand, it was really great, but I think Amazing. we both kind of forgot how to interact with folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there was yeah. a couple times during the show, it was like it, it had been six months since we'd done right. a show. And so it was like, well, what do we normally say here? <laughs> I'm just going to play the song now. And start playing the song. Yeah, people were very gracious. I mean, we told them it was our first kind of light, like in person since COVID. And yeah. it was a lot of fun. It was great. And um, yeah, I do feel like we're just kind of, like I was saying to you a bit earlier, just feeling kind of awkward in general, just meeting mm -hmm. people or like, how do you interact now? Like, we can't hug, we can't, like, shake hands. Um, and it's the same at concerts, kind of, how do you really meet people and uh, mm -hmm. without getting too close? And it's a learning curve, for sure. But it was, it was a fun show, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> and, and I'm thrilled that we're starting to slowly get more and more shows. Mm -hmm. so. Right, that must be feeling, that must be like a really good feeling. Yeah, it yeah. is, it is. It's good for yeah. us, yeah. I can only imagine, because, like, when you're in when you are a musician, mm -hmm. performing is kind of like where you get sort of your self-worth mm -hmm. almost. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine that like not performing for so long almost makes you feel like, am I actually talented or? Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. totally. Yeah. 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 And also as musicians, like when we write new songs, our favorite thing is to do is to go out and obviously perform them and see how people react to them and 
is it a good one or should we chuck that one like um and so even for that like yeah like yeah writing new songs it's it's hard when you can't perform them out in front of people yeah i mean as songwriters our whole goal is to communicate stuff mm -hmm. like we we're not in it to make money that's obvious because no songwriters ever make money <laughs> <laughs> unless you're ed sheeran um, yeah <laughs> but like having a, a an objective like making the world a better place by communicating something of value mm -hmm. like that is really fulfilling and when you don't do that and that's your livelihood that's your calling mm -hmm. you uh you turn into a cynic and you're just like mm -hmm. life sucks and yeah. this coffee is terrible and so it's good that we can perform again so aside from your faith what would you say are your biggest musical inspirations oh great question oh man uh, i'll be really vague and just say beauty like okay just beautiful stuff makes me want to write you know, mm, yeah. I don't know if that mm -hmm. is a little bit too cliche, but it's no, true. Like being out in nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being That's in nature. It. I draw metaphors from everything. Mm -hmm. Like this is a life lesson. Look how this oak tree is growing. Like mm -hmm. it sounds super silly, but that's kind of how I've always lived my life. Like what can I learn from the things around me? Yeah. And uh, that's what what songwriting is to me is I can learn these things and like get a different perspective and then offer it to other people who might not have seen it the same way that I did. Mm -hmm. So it could be something as simple as like a pretty hillside in the sun or a oh. lake. I don't know. That's nice. What yeah. were you going to say? Well, no, I was just thinking of musical inspirations. Like, oh. who would you say? <laughs> is but... that what you meant? Uh, anything is fine. Yeah, okay. I meant like anything, <laughs> anything from the oak tree to the Beatles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, who would you say is your musical inspiration? Uh, James Taylor, Jason Mraz, band called Need to Breathe. Yes, Need to Breathe. Uh, Justin Bieber. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do like his new stuff, though. Mm. What about you, musically? Oh, gosh, honestly, right now, I am, like, just loving Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore. Like, mm -hmm. I, that's been nonstop for me. Uh, I definitely air more on the, like, pop, like, folky pop kind of side um yeah right now taylor swift for sure <laughs> it's a good record it's a great record yeah i agree sorry that was a really long answer to all of no, that that's said, but... totally fine <laughs> um so i saw on your instagram you guys were teasing a little bit of an album you want to yeah. tell me about yes. that yes so we uh we've released two full albums over the last um how many years four or five years four and a half um and yeah, we're working on a new album. Um, it's actually going to be kind of two part, two EPs. Um, yeah, I mean, you can probably talk about it a bit more. We had the idea for the record a long time ago, um, mm -hmm. and it was it was going to be called Wayward and Home because our first album was called Anchors Away. It was us kind of leaving into the journey of being full time musicians. Uh, our second record was called The Venture, and it was going to be like okay, we're out on the road doing shows and playing music. Like, that's kind of what the venture is, everything that we are learning on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had this idea of doing Wayward at Home that would be kind of exploring the idea. We didn't connect these at the time. It just kind of happened. Um, but it'd be exploring the idea, like, like going away from the place that you feel comfortable in and then returning to it, but not in the physical sense, like, this is going to get really metaphorical and, and strange, but home, they say home is where the heart is. And so when you think of, I'm going to leave home and I'm going to come back home, you think, okay, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to come back. But wayward and home for us is like, where do you go, like spiritually or metaphorically, that is home that can go with you anywhere? I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A little bit yeah. weird. No, that's so, great. It started out as like, oh, this is going to be a record about losing your way and finding your way. <laughs> but now it's like, it's going to be a record about, here's some of the things that we've really been wrestling with. And here's how it's changed our opinions on things. And here's the foundational things that don't change no matter what changes over here. Um, the, mm -hmm. the stuff that makes home home, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're definitely. slowly working on it now. Um, obviously, with COVID, that's kind of given us a chance to really be at home and, and working on demos and um, building out those songs. So, yeah, definitely is a big focus for us going like finishing this year and going into next year. So we're really excited about this one. That's amazing. OK, well, thank you so much for coming all the way to Little Old Mount Union oh, and singing for us. Amazing. Um, I understand you're going to sing one more thing for us. Absolutely. Yeah, try our best. Well, 
Well, I moved to the land of music and of promises. The land of traffic jams, restaurants, and offices. A coffee in my hand just to help me fight the awkwardness. Was in another town, but this is where the party is. So there I go, jumping on the bandwagon. Raise a glass for all the record deals I ain't having. Funny enough, it didn't come to make my dreams happen. It just came to be. Singing first of all, don't do it for the money Second of all, don't work for free You got a gift to share, some change to spare For those who need the opportunity You gotta breathe it in when you walk through the roses But chase the one that you're meant to be And most of all, just love all the people you see And that tips on me Well, I'm still figuring out the ways of my new town, a city full of dreamers that were paying the bills somehow. You've probably seen them all living it up in SoCal, but only Tennessee knows the meaning of a hoedown. You probably heard about some daughters in a bakery. You definitely heard about the music industry, but people are the real heartbeat of the community. And that's fine by me. Singing first of all, don't do it for the money. Second of all, don't work for free. You got a gift to share, some change to spare for those who need the opportunity. You gotta breathe it in when you're walking through the roses. But chase the one that you're meant to be. And most of all, just love all the people you see. That tips on me. Oh, oh, na 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 na. Oh, oh, na 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 na. Oh, oh, na Well, Nashville is alive and kicking. Hits you in the senses like a fresh hot chicken. Some people think that all you gotta do is write a hit, then take it to the radio, and now you're making millions. But you know, it doesn't work that way. You write a couple hundred songs, only one gets played. But that's okay, I'm in it to communicate. And you know, I got, I got a lot, lot to say. Singing first of all, don't do it for the money. Second of all, don't work for free. You got a gift to share, some change to spare for those who need the opportunity. You gotta breathe it in when you walk through the roses. But chase the one that you're meant to be. And most of all, just love all the people you see. That tips on me. Hi, everybody. My name is Drake. I'm Lucy Jane. And we are Drakeford, the indie band from Nashville, Tennessee. That was actually our original song called Nashville. Make sure you go follow us on socials. You can find us on Instagram at, at Drakeford underscore music. And we'd love to connect with you guys.